In this problem, we're told a 5 kilogram bucket of water is raised from a well by a rope. The upward acceleration of the bucket is 3 meters per second squared. Find the force exerted by the rope on the bucket. Right, so this is our bucket, and we know it's got some water, right? And so this bucket's going to be raised at 3, point, or 3 meters per second squared. We also know the mass is 5 kilograms, right? So this is going to be the mass. And so the way we're going to solve this problem is by first labeling all the forces acting on it. So that's always what you want to do for problems when you're finding force. So we have the force due to gravity, right, which is just mg, right? So mg is the force due to gravity. And then we also have a tension force in this uh, wire, right? And so this tension force is essentially what we're trying to find because they tell us to find the force exerted by the rope on the bucket, which is just the tension force, right? Because it's holding it up. So what we want to do is find this tension force. And so the way you solve for a force in, uh, in a problem, generally what you do is by taking the sum of the forces in that direction. So notice this is the y direction, right? So what we want to do is take the sum of the forces in the y direction, because it's going to have t in it. So the sum of the forces in the y, so we know the formula of force equals ma, right? So the sum of the forces in the y are just going to be equal to its mass times its acceleration, right? And when I say sum of the forces, it's essentially the resultant force. So we know ma is going to be equal to, and then you just take all the forces and add them up. Right, so what forces do we have in the Y? We have a tension force, right, and we have a force due to gravity. So if what you do is you label forces that go upwards positive, forces that go downwards negative, right? So T is going upwards, so we label it positive, and then minus mg, right, because it's negative. So what this tells you is uh, if you go ahead and manip remove this to the other side, T is equal to ma plus mg. So you can go ahead and solve for uh, the tension, right? What we're trying to find, the force exerted by the rope is gonna just equal to ma plus mg, right? Now if I factor out an m, right? Just from both of them, it's just gonna be m times a plus g, right? Because if you foil it, it's just gonna be this. So we can solve for what we're trying to find just by taking the mass, right? Five kilograms, multiplying by the acceleration, the rate we're going upwards, which is three, and then plus uh, g, which is just 9.8, right? So this is right here gonna be your answer. So you just wanna do five times uh, three plus 9.8, and you do that, you'll get 64. And so keep in mind, this is tension, it's a force, so we measure it in newtons. So T is gonna be equal to 64 newtons. That's gonna be uh, the force exerted by the rope on the bucket or your answer to this problem. And so yeah, uh, this is your answer and hopefully you found this useful.